Well, a very good afternoon. Welcome to Edgeley Park for the second Cheshire Derby this week. As Stockport County take on League Two strugglers Tranmere Rovers. As County look to set two new all-time club records. They're going for a tenth successive league win and 11th win in all competitions. The League Two record, by the way, for consecutive wins is 12. And that was set by the other Hatters, Luton Town, back in 2002. Yeah, and playing well for them by all accounts. I think manager Dave Challoner described him as the, the bright spark for Tranmere this season, yeah. really. Uh, playing, as you say, more of a more of an eight, really, in recent weeks. But here's, in. here's Collar finding Bailey. Bailey now with a chance to slot this through. It's a great ball for Alafi. Oh, County have got the lead. It's a brilliant ball from Odin Bailey. What a pass to find Alafi who slid it past the goalkeeper, first time of asking, and County have got the lead after just four minutes, it's County 1, Tranmere nil. I don't think it's quite in the uh, the Challoner bracket, but uh, I don't think he's got a target to deploy it to anyway, so he has, he has taken it short in the end. Rovers again, I mean sloppy, giving the ball away in the middle of the park, and County will counter-attack, Wotton's offside, he's got to come back. Alafi, I think, knew that, didn't get the cross in as a result, but he has won the throw. It's intelligent play that from Alafi. I think he knew if he crossed that, Wotton had gone a little early. It's a county throw. Southam Hales gets the ball back via the back heel from Sarsavik. There's Wotton with a header over the bar. It stays 1 0. Rovers are really finding it hard just to keep in touch with County. They're chasing shadows all over the pitch. And here's an opportunity presenting itself for Ethan Pye. Will he clip this one in towards Carl Wotton with the header? And the goalkeeper just gathers it safely before Sarsavik can do any damage. Well, I remember being here in May of 2010 when Tranmere won 3 0. So the result late kept one, them in League One. South and Hales this time is the victim of a late tackle. Referee again's got his card out, hasn't he? Yeah, and it's it's Harvey Saunders, Saunders on this occasion. Uh, it's just listen, they've had to do a lot of chasing in this first half, Tranmere, and that's potentially just a little bit of frustration bubbling over towards the end of the half. Yeah, two needless bookings really right at the end of this first half. It's the last thing County need <laughs> after Tuesday night. Well, that's certainly a foul. South and Hales is hurt. It's Saunders again, he's already yeah. on a booking of course. It's the second time he's absolutely clattered for Corley Salvin Hales and the referee. It is. He's off. Tranmere are reduced to 10. Saunders with a needless challenge on Southam Hales. As Pike hurls it in towards the corner of the six yard box. He's got good distance on that. Horse fall heads clear though. Sarsavik. Bailey. Wotton, oh beautifully weighted pass, right into the path of Sarsavik and it's 3v1 as County come forward and Sarsavik makes it 2-0, wow. brilliant counter-attack and it's Anthony Sarsavik who finds the back of the net, superb touch from Carl Wotton on the halfway line and then it was all about the pace of Sarsavik as he outstripped Davis, slots the ball past the advancing goalkeeper and County have doubled their lead. It's County 2, Tramia 0. In full voice, very relaxed, very calm. And can County go on and really take advantage? 2 0. Pye, Crowsdale. Crowsdale again, back to Ethan Pye, asking a lot of Pye, forced him wide. Sarsavik bundles his way through the challenges, finds Collar in the box, back to goal, lays it off to Alafi who tees it up for Crowsdale oh and he's hit the post and Wotton's oh. hit the bar County denied by the woodwork twice in three seconds here's Wotton again though at the far post and this time headed off the line super defending by Davis goal kick to Tranmere who are clinging on here Southam Hales on the right Sarsavik in the middle Crowsdale alongside him, goes more direct towards Alafi. Back now to Sarsavik again, finds Odin Bailey. Bailey on the left-hand side. He spots the run of Southam Hales, but he can't pick him out. Crowsdale might, and does. 
And it's a chance for a cross. There are four in the box. South of Hales leaves it for Crowsdale to deliver. He squares it instead for Odin Bailey to strike. Not too far away. He tried to bend it inside the far post. And Odin Bailey still waiting for that elusive first county goal. Yeah, Carl Wharton having a little word with the referee. Tanto Alafi having a little word with the linesman. Between the two of them, I'm not sure how they missed that. But Here's Jennings for Tranmere at the other end. He'll try his luck from distance and he's not far away. Instinctive snapshot from Connor Jennings. The ball sat up nicely, it was inviting. Yeah, you would think Carl Noel and Miles Hippolyte as well, players working their way back to match fitness, an opportunity for them in this I'm final half hour. And I'm sure, Liam, we'll see plenty of them next weekend, do you think? Yeah, I, w I, w I would certainly think so. I think wholesale changes, you, you would imagine, for that game. Um, and with the strength in depth County have, they can do that without necessarily weakening them. After shot saved by Hinchliffe, That's offside, up. won't count. It's turned into the back of the net. That's just the reminder, perhaps, that County need Christian Dennis lurking, as he does always. Surely at some point, I mean, you, you feel for him. He's been so good today as well. Miles Hippolyte, Paddy Madden are both going to come on shortly. County pushing forward again, clipped in by Sarsavik, and Wotton heads over, should have scored. In fact, it came off the back of the defender's head, didn't it? Back to his goalkeeper, who takes a touch in front of the Cheadle end, who are trying to put him off. McGee able to clear, Noyles under it, heads it back into Tranmere territory, finds Bailey, Bailey unable to keep County on the ball, quick feet from Dennis, shakes off Horsfall, and great work from Apter as well who skips away from Horsfall, inside the box, goes for goal, parried away by Ben Hinchliffe who's not happy with his defenders there for allowing that shot to come in. Um, they lead 1-0 and County at the minute sitting with a, a five-point lead at the top of the table. I mean, it's... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's a nice place to be in right it's, now. It's great to know you're going into the cup weekend and nobody's going to overtake you. Here's Madden at the far post. Heads it in. Oh, it's a good save from the keeper. Crowsdale again denied. Wins it in the air, but then volleyed away by Connor Jennings for Norris to chase. Luke Norris, three goals so far this season. Connor Jennings again picking up the pieces. Perfectly weighted ball for O'Connor. Apter now looking to cut in off that right hand side. Gets his shot away, and again, it's a very good save by Ben Hinchliffe. Dave Challoner's furious down on the touchline that Apter was able to glide into the box so easily. Well picked out by Connor Jennings. A good attempt from Apter. In the back of his hamstring there, Southam Hales. Two new club records for Stockport County have been achieved. It's 10 wins in a row in League Two, 11 wins in a row in all competitions, and Stockport County are now five points clear at the top of League Two, and they go into that FA Cup first round weekend knowing that they've got that five-point gap at the top of the table.